for optimising the aerodynamic forms of the car, and we try and keep as much of a 50-50 balance of the car. So, you know, okay. it, the aero balance is basically right in the middle. And to do that, the most performance or the most performance optimization you have to do is on the rear wing, because everything upstream of that obviously affects the forms you can get out of the rear wing. So what these vertical whiskers are trying to do is outwash as much of the weight you get from the rear wing or from the front wing away from the rear wing to try and optimise okay. the performance you get out of the rear. And the canards here is to essentially create a downward, a downwash floor, a downward facing float to try and get as much of the weight from these side tunnels, again, down and away from the rear wing. And we found that by trying to improve the rear wing performance rather than the kind of individual components, uh, generates a kind of bigger performance overall for the car. So There's you run an effectively slightly less rear wing because of all the work you've done up front? Essentially, the front wing is a device to optimise the flow for everything else. Yeah. Uh, so we've also optimised for the side tunnels. Um, we used to run kind of mid plate and end plates, mm -hmm. but they would kind of create a concentrated point of shedding, and that would often end up in what we previously had was a side wing or now a side tunnel. Okay. So the front wing is essentially just an optimization device for the rest of the car.